The purpose for today is twofold. One, to increase awareness within the IT business community on the upcoming contracting opportunities uh, that we have within uh, the technology department at LAWA um, with the goal to uh, increase the number of responses that we get as a part of our procurement processes and also to ultimately uh, get technology products and services uh, from a larger um, business community. In addition to that, we're also taking this opportunity uh, within LAWA to uh, gain awareness of what those technology products and services are uh, from you in the industry to help us achieve our goals as Justin and Deborah have spoken uh, on before, before now. Just to give you a little uh, insight on IMTG, uh, Information Management and Technology Group within LAWA, we currently have approximately 170 full-time staff who's responsible for maintaining uh, our infrastructure and systems in addition to uh, IT project development. In addition to the full-time staff, we have about 70 active IT contracts that's valued at about $140 million. These contracts are not enough for what we need to do moving forward, as you just heard uh, Justin allude to. We have several upcoming contracting opportunities within the next 12 months um, that range from expanding uh, our video surveillance uh, capabilities and coverage to replacing our uh, police dispatch system and our access control system to maintaining various existing systems at the airport to procuring certain equipment and to acquiring uh, various IT project management and technical consultant services that are necessary for overseeing the development of all of this new technology. In addition to the contracting opportunities, uh, the new contracting opportunities from RFPs and bids uh, that will come out, there are also many subcontracting opportunities um, to work with us uh, prior to those uh, RFPs becoming available uh, in the area of procuring equipment from CCTV cameras, IoT sensors, PCs, monitors, wired and wireless network gear, storage and server technology, cable and conduit to the purchase of software. Um, that can range from Microsoft and Oracle products to ERP, document management, facilities management, um, the internet, intranet, and extranet tools, uh, as well as the further development of our GIS uh, capabilities. And um, under our existing contracts, uh, we are frequently looking to uh, bring on additional consulting services needed to help us maintain our existing systems as we are continuing to design, develop, and implement this new technology and moving into uh, how we innovate and uh, disrupt our environment here at the airport. It is our plan to refresh and improve pretty much every aspect of security technology at the airport. You've heard from Deborah uh, on the importance of ensuring the safety and security of our passengers. So we will be looking to make improvements in video surveillance, access control, uh, perimeter security, and credentials or identity management. In addition to uh, the new technology and passenger-focused systems and applications that are needed to improve our guest experience. We are really looking forward to working with the consultants and contractors here in the audience today to help us implement uh, that new leading edge, not bleeding edge, leading edge digital technology in a nimble and flexible manner, um, which is maybe somewhat contrary to what you think about when you're working with a government, but that is necessary moving forward 
uh, to enable uh, and accelerate uh, airport mobility and enable that seamless passenger journey, pushing that information out to the passenger um, so that their experience uh, is better from the time they leave home all the way to the gate, giving them those options of parking and food and retail, all that extra stuff that Deborah talked about, in addition to basically just getting to the gate and through the checkpoint. We are looking, as Justin said, to, to build, to join, and to leverage alliances, probably with many of you here today, um, and platforms to transform our airport through innovative thinking, process, and technology. So we are really looking forward to networking with you um, in the two hours after the formal presentations uh, and really getting to learn a little bit more about the products and services that you all have to offer. I want to share that information technology is within the operations group within the airport, uh, headed up by our chief operating officer, Samson Mengistu. And in addition to being responsible for running system operations, we also contribute, obviously, to new technology development as a part of our multi-billion dollar capital improvement program uh, and continuously uh, working on improving the guest experience uh, throughout our construction efforts. Within IT, we have five major functional areas where contracting occurs. Uh, in our IT infrastructure group, that's headed up by Nathan Look. In our airport technology and business systems group, that's headed up by Melody Johnson. Uh, IT strategic planning that uh, Mary Albers oversees. Uh, Anson Fong uh, is our chief information security officer responsible for data security and cybersecurity. And I already mentioned that Sonia Mattingly is responsible for IT administration. Prior to having uh, Melody and Tim Liu come up and speak about upcoming contracting opportunities and some of the challenges that we face, uh, with infrastructure and our systems development, I'm going to uh, ask that we focus a little bit on that guest experience initiative that's been mentioned several times this morning. And there's no one better to talk about that topic than LAWA's Chief Experience Officer, Barbara Yamamoto. So if you can please join me in welcoming her to talk about our guest experience initiative. There was obviously not a height requirement for this job, thank goodness. Um, this really is an exciting time at Los Angeles World Airports. Not only are we in the midst of unprecedented uh, capital improvements, but we're also in the midst of a really exciting culture change called the guest experience. Uh, we recognize that physical improvements with our facilities and our infrastructure alone will not guarantee that all of our guests have an exceptional experience. So this guest experience initiative is really about aligning the entire airport. Um, everyone within our service delivery chain, whether you're an airline or a concessionaire, um, TSA, CBP, a service provider, uh, we're all in this together and it's all one LAX experience. So the goal is really to help us align our exceptional facilities with exceptional service and exceptional people. Underlying all of this is technology and innovation. It underlies nearly all of our um, strategies on our roadmap. Um, we're looking for anything that can help us live up to our promise um, to make our guest visits efficient, hospitable, or memorable. And technology and innovation will really play a huge part in all of this. And there are a number of ways that we are looking to you to help us navigate our strategic roadmap to enhance the guest experience. So I wanted to share with you a few um, markers that we're looking at. Um, the first strategy on our roadmap is guests first. So we want to stay guest centric and really focus on our guests first and keeping their needs and their feedback at the heart of our airport decision making. So we have lots of tools to gather feedback. At this point, it's mostly negative feedback. But that's going to change. Um, but we're really looking for technology and innovation to help us consolidate that information so that can, we can make really intelligent decisions. Um, the second 
road marker is the happy guests. So we're trying to create satisfied guests, optimizing that end-to-end -end journey with exceptional people, services, and, and innovation, as well as facilities and improved efficiencies. So we're looking for things that can help us increase throughput, decrease wait times, and streamline processes. The third strategy is the informed guest, which Justin referred to earlier, and it's really about keeping our guests informed and empowered to make decisions um, even before they get to the airport, to give them more control of their airport journey. And the fourth strategy is ambiance and feeling. It's really about alleviating stress by creating a more calming ambiance and an enjoyable feeling that really reflects our iconic city and our lifestyle. The fifth one is engaged employees and partners. Uh, motivating and engaging employees by collaborating with the airport community to create an experience in which the guest feels as if all the airport employees work for the same company, regardless of who is actually responsible for providing those services. The sixth is guest delight. Uh, delighting guests with those unexpected, um, exceptional extras to help us put the fun back into travel. And then lastly is policy integration, really integrating policies and procedures and protocols to ensure the guest experience is embedded um, in all of our administrative functions. So we believe that these seven markers will really provide some great opportunities for technology and innovation to really play a strong role in improving guest satisfaction. Um, we are really fortunate to have such a strong partnership with the IT team, um, with Aura and Justin, and so um, we, we couldn't be luckier to have a team to support us. Um, and we look forward to meeting with all of you and talking about some ways that we can collaborate as well. Um, Tommy Brent from our team is here, and she will be at a table in the back after, uh, after this session. Um, so we look forward to working with you and collaborating with you to really enhance the guest experience at LEX. Thank you.